I'm on the main jet. Have you ever heard that expression while bench racing with your buddies? What the heck does that even mean? Well, after this episode of MC Garage, you'll know. Today, we talk about the main jet. For the past few weeks, we've been going through a carburetor piece by piece. If you haven't watched the first videos in the series, jump back and check them out. We'll have the links in the description down below. We've covered the basic layout of the carburetor, we've covered the float bowl, and we've covered the pilot jet. The next piece in a properly running carbureted motorcycle equation is the main jet. The main jet is responsible for supplying the fuel that mixes with the air as it makes its way into the engine after the pilot jet is done doing its job at idle. At about 20% throttle, all the fuel goes through this bad boy right here. There is another part that meters the fuel until about 80% throttle, but we'll cover that next week. When you're wide open, you're on the main jet. The main jet is located at the bottom of the carburetor inside the float bowl. It's the larger of the two jets, and it's installed into the needle jet. That's the part we're gonna be covering next week. If this guy's plugged up, you're in for a full carb cleaning ritual. Everything will usually be clogged up if this guy is plugged. Check out Ari's video on how to clean a carburetor. Links it down below. So, we are gonna assume you have a clean carburetor so we can get right into knowing if your main jet is too rich or too lean. First, let's start with the manufacturer's recommendation in the service manual. Just like we discussed in last week's video, there'll be a recommendation according to temp and altitude. This is where you wanna begin. A lean condition means the ratio of air to fuel is too high. There's just not enough fuel. This can cause issues from not making full power at wide open throttle and RPM to detonation and pinging that could damage your engine over time. Lean jetting is the kiss of death for two strokes with the possibility of a quick meltdown and an eventual seizure. In four strokes, the damage can take a little bit longer, but it can still happen. It's fairly easy to hear pinging on a two stroke. Think of a metallic tick that sounds like a rattling ball bearing in a tin can. That's the sound of the fuel charge detonating just before it should smashing the top of the piston before it reaches top dead center. That same sound can be heard on a four stroke, but the sound is masked by the sound of the valve train. If you hear this, you're gonna need to rejet before you do some serious damage. Also, a lean condition will have a crisp throttle response, but the top end's gonna feel weak and the bike will run way hotter than it should. As many times I've heard two stroke racers say it was running so crisp and so snappy, and then it just stopped. That's a classic case of seizure from being too lean. To fix that lean position, go up a jet size and run the bike again. Repeat until you find the right size. Now, these numbers on the sides of the jets, they might not increase or decrease in increments of one. Usually, it's a number like five or 10. When your bike's rich, it means there's more than the optimal amount of fuel in the air charge. This leads to stumbling and poor overall running. It doesn't lead to a premature death like a lean condition can, so if you have to, err on the side of being rich. If the bike moves through the mid-range and onto the top end, the power is going to stumble and miss. It's an easier condition to feel in here for most people, and it's very clear that it's running bad. Just drop a jet size and retest it. On a two-stroke, you can also do a plug chop to check the proper jetting. But that's a pretty involved process, and we're going to save that for a separate video. For now, that's it for checking the main jet, and that's it for this episode of MC Garage. The main jet is one of the simpler jets to get dialed in, but if it's not right, it's gonna cause issues with next week's topic, the needle jet and needle. If you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Thanks for watching.